you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you this makeup look i know most of you guys don't be watching my makeup videos but if you did stumble across this video do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe and also hit the post notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you will be notified every single time i post a video if you guys want to see how i put my natural hair up in a ponytail it's super simple just how anybody else put their hair up in a ponytail i will link that video in the eye above right now i was like since i'm wearing my natural hair out for maybe like two more days i was like let me just do a makeup look with my natural hair so you guys can get like a cute makeup look just in case like anybody wear their natural hair 24 7 or you want to wear your natural hair and go to a fancy i don't know like a fancy event for christmas or new year's i just want to give you guys a makeup look with my natural hair so you can see that you're gonna look beautiful babe you're gonna look beautiful just do your hair real sleek up <laughs> easy and do your makeup and put on i already washed my face so i'm gonna put on my my smashbox the original photo finish primer and then i'm gonna do my eyebrows i already have a video showing you guys how i do my eyebrows so i'm gonna do them off camera and then i'll be right back so i'm just gonna apply this and zin i'm gonna be done <laughs> not be done but gonna show you guys a nice classy type of makeup that you guys could do if you have natural hair or you want to wear your natural hair for this Christmas New Year's season. I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Sand. I'm going to put that all over my lids just to prime the lids. Guys, I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. I'm going to use that shade right here in my crease now I'm gonna go in with my true complexion contour palette it's the medium to dark one in with the middle color and I'm putting that right in the middle of my crease right there I'm going into my Lick and Lash Beauty 35Y palette and I'm going to use this nice peachy nude color right here just using a regular flat brush and just digging in it like so I'm gonna pack right onto my lid, if y'all can see. All right, you guys, so I'm doing the other eye and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna line my eyes. I'm lining my eyes with my lip, my NYX liquid liner. I got this from Walmart. You can get it from any drugstore or beauty store. So that's all I'm doing right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Orange Corrector. I'm gonna correct all my dark areas on my face with this. And this is just gonna help my makeup be more flawless because I have a lot of dark areas on my face that I wanna conceal. Then I'm going in with my Halo, Hello Halo, Hello Halo highlight, and I'm gonna highlight all my high points because I want my foundation to glow. I'm using a Real Techniques, Real Techniques all over brush to blend that in. Then I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Foundation in the color Marquises. I will try to put all my um, products in the description box. I'm putting two pumps on my foundation but on my foundation brush I did end up using three but that's all I'm doing right here then I'm going over my Ellie girl pro concealer in fawn and I'm going to use that to highlight my face I'm putting that everywhere that I want to be highlighted. 
My routine is the same every single time because I do not like spending money on a bunch of makeup that I'm not going to use. So if you watch my makeup videos that I do have on my channel, you will notice that I do the same exact thing every time. So this is just the products I'm using that I always use. I'm going over my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Sand. I'm going to use that to intensify my under eyes and the bridge of my nose. After I do that, I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend out under my eyes. And I take my time with this. I just speed, I sped the video up, but I do take my time with blending because this will make or break how flawless your makeup looks. And I'm using my foundation brush just to wipe the sides of my mouth. And I make sure that I get that because if I don't, then the makeup is just going to look weird around my mouth area. I'm going with my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color Earth. I always use this, but I'm using it very lightly since it's winter time. I do not want my face to be too, too contoured. So I'm taking my time with using this, but this is what I use to contour every single time. And I'm using a smaller brush just to blend out my nose contour. I'm going in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the color Mahogany and I'm going to use that to set under my eyes. I only use this to set on, under my eyes. It gives me a more flawless look that I love so this is what I do. Then I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup and I'm going to set all my highlighted areas that I put that concealer. Then I'm going in with my contour palette. That's the same palette I used on my eyes. And I'm going ahead and setting my contour with this powder. And I'm using the middle shade, which is lighter. And I'm just going to set my nose because I don't want that nose contour to be too harsh. I'm going to just wipe away that Sephora, no, that Sasha Buttercup setting powder because I don't want it to sit on my face too long. Because then it starts grabbing to my, di my dry spots and I don't need that in my life. I'm going to go ahead and use my Juvia's Lace Masquerade Palette and I'm going to use those two shades, that orange and that pinky berry color and I'm going to warm up my cheeks and use that as a blush. Now I'm going to go in with this Master Chrome Highlight in this white shade. It's more of like an iridescent type of like, I don't know, it gives me like periwinkle vibes. I'm going to use that as an inner tear duct highlight and also a highlight for my face. I don't do too much with this just because my skin tone is very warm and brown and I don't need this um, highlight making me look too ghostly, but I want it to give me winter vibes. I'm using that same pink shade that I use on my cheeks and I'm putting that underneath my eyes to give me a warmer, warmer look. I'm going in with my nude eyeliner i got this from my beauty store as well this is a nyx eyeliner and i'm using that to line my waterline i'm just going in with this random um i think it's maybelline i'm not sure i got this from my cvs local drugstore i'm using this mascara on my eyes you can use any mascara that you like but i'm just putting on mascara right now and of course i freaking mess my makeup up but I just waited, I waited for it to dry and then I used like a clean brush and I scraped it off and it was perfectly fine. I'm going ahead and using this brown liner to put in my mold and I'm going to line my lips with my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. If you're brown skin and you don't have a MAC Chestnut Lip Liner, I highly recommend it. This has changed my life because I used to use my Glizzy Gloss Liner but it's a little bit too dark 
This one you could wear without makeup, with makeup, anything. It's just perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color London and I'm going to fill my lips in with this lip cream. I love this combination, it's super pretty, especially if you want like a nude, um, a light nude color that's gonna look like natural. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes. These are some of my Traffic Touches lashes. They're sold out, so I don't have any more of them and I'm not restocking them. Well, I don't think I'm gonna restock them, but we don't know, I might restock them next year. But these are my Traffic Touches lashes. They're not available at the moment and they're super beautiful, so I wanted to just pop these on really quick. And one thing about me, I like to make sure now that my eyelashes are more towards the wing of my eyes instead of inside, because it makes it more comfortable. I'm going to with my NYX Butter Gloss in the color Cairo. I'm gonna try to link it down below as well. And I'm putting that in the middle just to give me a, a light nude color. I'm going with my Glizzy Gloss Gloss in Clear, and I'm gonna use that to top it all off, because this kind of just seals my whole lip together not together but it fills the lip combo in place I love this gloss if you've been watching me you know that I love me some glizzy gloss it's my thing I'm gonna set my face with my morphe setting spray and this is the end result if you guys like it give me a like down below and yeah that's it for that all right, you guys, this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I want you to comment down below. The girl with her hand on her head like this. I also hit the post notification bell. It's right next to the subscribe button. And you will be notified every single time I post a video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will definitely see you in the next one. If you guys enjoy makeup tutorials, do not forget to comment that down below so I can know. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.